Bullshit artist. 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 You, sir, are a horseshit artist. I call bullshit on that. I'm detecting the unmistakable scent of. Wait for it. Horseshit? No, your answer is completely wrong. The correct answer is. What's the correct answer? Wait. Tell me the correct answer. The correct answer is. Horseshit. That's what I said, Dad. Ah, uh, bullshit. You're covered in horseshit. Bullshit artist. You're officially the world's biggest bullshit and horseshit artist. Bullshit, horseshit, cat shit, tiger shit, lion shit, duck shit, walrus shit, penguin shit, king penguin shit. B U double L S H I T. New word. A R T I S T. Spells bullshit artist. I say again, bullshit artist. Bully, bully, bullshit. And that basically sums up how I feel about this goddamn season. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry. This is. Oh my god. I had hopes for this season. You know that? I had hope. I, I legit had hopes for this goddamn season. I, I legit had hopes. The hopes were up here, then it went downhill from there. But man, I had hopes for the future, for see how the season can go. I was hoping this season would be good. I was. It was good for like the first eight episodes. And then once they introduce, um, once we got to Mount Hakane, Hakane, I forgot the name of the mountain. It's basically just a Mount Hakane. I think it's actually the Mount Hakane that Nuaku came from, just basically coming back. Apparently, just somehow came back. I think that's the same mountain. I'm not sure if it's actually the same mountain because. Eh, that mountain was basically destroyed in the bubble. So not really sure if that's the same mountain or not, but eh. <sighs> but he, he had a, he had this <sighs> Yeah, this season's just bad. It's just bad. It starts off great. The first eight episodes, like I said, the first eight episodes, I was pretty much intrigued. Like, I think it was like episode, I think it's when that food got introduced. And like episode eight, I think is when I started. Like, there are some good things here and there, but it's inconsistent. Like, I have no idea what the heck is going on sometimes. Like, yeah, not sure what um, what's his name? Kiromu's plan is like what? I still don't know why he wanted to destroy the world. Apparently, he wanted to destroy the world because it was all for his daughter. Okay. This guy's evil, so 
And the way they build him up in the first season made it seem like he was a big threat. Like he was a big deal. And just to give him a daughter in the second season seems like a little bit of a downgrade to me. Like, wait, you tell me that this guy had a fucking daughter? Yeah, I know there was a tease saying that his daughter got killed. Like, there was a tease of it in the first season. But did you really need to bring her back? No. You could easily just kill her off, have her be motivation, and have it be his reason for turning evil. That would have been a better idea than what they actually did, which is basically have her come back and then have... I don't know. Just Also, that ending of Sushomu... The fight with King Ron Moon and Strom at the end. But they did we fight. Um get um they legit fight. They legit um let's just say uh King Ramu looks at uh Ven and I know it's not I'm hoping that he doesn't actually think of his... Yeah. Uh, basically, um, let's just say, um, yeah, I think uh, Kimono loves his daughter a lot more than other people do. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty gross. Yeah. Pretty gross. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> but, yeah, okay. I know it's not... I'm hoping that's not what that implies, but I don't know. Um... Pitting Ven as a stand-in for her, his daughter. Um, that doesn't apply. That I'm just hoping he just. I don't know. It just seems weird. And plus, the scene that follows up to when they next meet is, yeah, it does. Say, it does feel like a child and father dynamic but at the same time it feels a little bit ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah that's just yeah this just makes me hate Kimo more and not in a good way more than like calling 911 we got some we got someone you want to speak to we'll call him freaking child but the Simpsons on his asshole. But oh my god. Yeah, this show's pretty bad. Um, not much I can say about it. It's just bad. It's just bad. It's just bad. It's just very bad. I'm sorry. There's nothing likable. And then, uh, speaking of the daughter, the daughter is not really that interesting to begin with. Like, what does she do? That I feel like she's just there. Like, yeah, she's there to give... Legit, her only reason for being there is to just move the plot along. That's about it. That's about it. He, she does nothing, absolutely nothing. She is just a main school. Once they introduce her, it's like, oh, cool. You introduce someone new. Let's see what she can do. And they never do anything with her. Never, ever do anything with her. Yeah, she has a couple moments with zero, but that's about it. Um, basically, she says a final goodbye to zero at the end when, um, King. Mean, Kinsoff, 
zero. Which, when I saw a PB4, I thought it was a lot better, but see it in person, yeah, it's just bad. Just bad. Also, um, yeah, this show is just terrible. It's just bad. It's this season's just really bad. It, it's full of a lot of bad moments. Like, it just feels like mostly filler. Just a lot. There's a lot of filler episodes in this season, and a lot of episodes that are just damn. Like, this whole season just feels like filler, and the stuff with Kiwanamu and Zero just feels like they need to, like, oh shit, we need to focus on Zero and Kiwanamu. We need to figure out what to do with them. Because we forgot about them. And then once they do, they immediately forget about them, and they honestly don't know what to do with Zero. So, you know what they do? They just, okay, we can't figure out what to do with you. Let's just kill you off. And they just want to get I don't know. Something about this is I don't know. Also, if you're wondering what where I stopped off in the original my original run through of I did finish I did watch Shashihimi twice. One when it first came out and the second for this when I first reviewed of uh, this first season. I stopped watching Himi season two after they introduced a goddamn fruit sword. The fruit sword. I know it has a name, but I'm just calling it the fruit sword because that's basically what it is. A fucking loot sword. How original. I haven't seen that in any other anime. Oh my god. Okay, I know people are going to ask me, well, it's just a flute sword. What's so crazy about that? It's Inuyasha for God's sake. Okay, I know that there are some crazy stuff in Inuyasha, but it's Inuyasha. Why in the hell would it be a Freaking fruit sword in this anime. Okay, I know it's technically Yashahimi, but it's still in the same continuity as Inuyasha, and the first season was created by the by the same creator of Inuyasha, which is weird because that show shit. So, what the hell happened there? <laughs> but yeah, it was directed by the same person of Inuyasha. So, yeah. And the show and the show directed by in Inyasha the f- season two. It's totally different. And you wanna know something funny? You wanna know something funny? This guy has only directed one shonen show. You wanna know what guess that shonen show is? Take a guess. Yashahimi. Yeah. Because why not? Have a, someone who hasn't directed a shonen show direct your second season. Who in the right... Okay. And the, the, most of the stuff that he's directed is Gundam and bunch of Magical Girl anime. That's about it. That's all that's in his library. He hasn't directed anything. He hasn't directed any shonen show. He hasn't had a single instance of any shows of any shonen shows. Okay. Do you know how bad that is to get someone who hasn't directed a shonen show? Now, granted, the original actor, the, no, the original director didn't direct the show, show, but he read the manga. So, and knowing that this guy didn't direct any, sh- well, actually, I'm not even sure if he directed a show and show or not, but I think he did. I don't know, but yeah. This is just terrible. It's just the worst. I'm sorry. It's just terrible. I do not like this show. 
That's what Hibi season two. It's probably the worst. Like the character development between also Koaku and Sango and Moku's family are pretty much forgettable. Like, yeah, you introduce these kids. What do they do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Legit. They do nothing. They do nothing. A lot of these new Netshen characters, besides the main three being, besides yeah, Shomu's kids and Kagome's and Shishomu and Ren's kids and Inuyasha and Kugami's did I say Kugami? Kagome's kids do something and the other and Roku Sango's kids don't do anything. What the hell? What the fine fuck? Also, what about the new people that they introduce? The new cast that they introduce? The new characters? Ooh. Well, apparently those apparently those are Kohaku's kids, I think. I think those are Kohaku's kids. I don't know. They never say in the show, so I'm assuming those aren't Kohaku's kids. Those are just some people that they managed to find. I don't know who those people who they are related to. I know they ain't related to Kohaku, so who are those people? I'm guessing those are just random people who got introduced into Demon Slayer and into the Demon Slayer village. So mm -mm, no clue. Cool. I have no clue who those people are. Who are those people? Your guess is as good as mine. Who family members are those? Are those Kohaku's kids? I, I don't know. They never say. They never say those are Kohaku's kids. And even if they are, who's if those are Kohaku's kids, who are the freaking who's the freaking mom? Like it's not Ren. It's obvious it's not Ren because it, it can't be Ren. So who the Kohaku unless the mother got the Disney treatment and just freaking died. So yeah. Also, we finally get to see what happens to Inyasha and Kagome. And, okay, that's probably the only good scene, the only good episode, the only good scene in this anime, and the only good episodes are with Moha and Kagome and Inyasha. Because, to be honest, Moha is probably the only good character in this entire show. The only good character from the next gen. Yeah, she's legit, like, the only good character. I don't know, it's something just about her personality. I don't know. <laughs> It's just something about her personality seems cool. I like her personality. I don't know. She just seems like a fun character to be around and seems like a good friend and a really terrible friend. I don't know. She just seems like a good person. Like, I don't know. She just shares the traits of both Kagome and Inuyasha, so it mixes as well. I don't know. It's, I think Moha is probably the best character in this show. Besides the main character. Besides the original cast, so yeah. Of the newer cast, Moho is probably the best character. And Toa is just annoying. Yeah. I thought they would redeem him in the second season. <laughs> Apparently they do, but by her bringing... Um, Setsuna's back. Setsuna back from the dead by being in the back. I don't know. But you know, they bring it back. But yeah, um Yeah, it's just this show's just terrible. It is just terrible. It's Yeah, I do not like this show. It's probably the worst. Okay, I know this is a hot topic, but I I rather watch Boruto than this. 
I rather watch Boto because at least with Boto, they actually utilize the next gen characters and actually have a mixture of both characters of the next gen and the old generation. Yashihimi just doesn't do that. It's just there. Just freaking there. Does absolutely nothing. I mean absolutely nothing. The show is just there, and the only good things about the show are, like they said, I think, I think all the way up to like episode thirty. I think like the first six episodes are pretty good. I think, but once you get to episode six, it just goes down. It goes up. It doesn't even go up. It just goes, and then just a downloads, just a very bad disaster. It just goes on a straight drop. Yeah. It, there's like no good moments in this entire show. There's it goes on a drop, and then once we get up to to when Kagome and Yasha come back, it goes up a little bit. But once they are introduced, they are completely forgotten about, and then it goes back on a drop. And then, and then to be honest, the only good thing about this is the ending. There's no joke. The ending is actually pretty good. Because, I don't know, it just feels like you got all the characters of the original cast are back. You see all of them. They're all there. Sango. Sango, Kiara, Moku, Inuyasha, and... And Shippo all back. Yeah, Kohaku's not there, but yeah, I'll take it. But yeah, but it just feels, I don't know, it just feels good seeing all of them together again. And all of them working on a plan to get rid of the Dream Butterfly. I don't know what the heck that thing is. It just comes from Asteroid. I think it's the Dream Butterfly. The actual Dream Butterfly. I don't know what it is. It's never really explained. I guess it's an alien butterfly, technically. So we got aliens in Inuyasha now. I think that's what it is. I don't know. When I first saw it, I was like, Mafra? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. That was the first thing I said when I saw it. I was like, Mafra? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know Mafra's second him off, but. I don't know. The first thing I thought was like Mafa. It was like a Mafa kaiju. And it doesn't help that it has a psychic bond with a character. So, yeah. The similar is all there. But to be honest. What I was hoping what came out of that asteroid to what we actually got. What I was hoping, like, if they were going to do something bold, if they were going to do something really bold, you know what they should have done? But I'm going to say this, and I know it's a trope, and I know a lot of people said it back then, but why not bring back Naraku at the end? In an asteroid, like have him come inside the asteroid, like that could have been easy. You had the setup, you had miasma, you had a piece of his heart. I, I know it didn't look like a heart. It it you know it looked it looked like a Christmas, but I don't know. You could have just said it was his heart, but you had the setup. You had everything. Why not just bring back Naraku? It would have been easy. It would have been easy. You could have just got the old voice actor. Well, I'm not sure if the old voice actor is dead or not, but 
you could bump out their own voice, I said, with Naraku, and have Naraku come back. Like, it could have been that easy. Like, who was his Naraku again? Yeah, let me look that up. Let me voice back the of Naraku. Naraku. In you. I don't know how to spell Naraku. You could have probably bought that Paul Dobson, I guess. Paul Dobson's still alive. I hope he is. Oh my god, if he's dead, I'll feel really old. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, thank God he's still alive. Oh, my God. I got so scared. Hoping Paul Dobson is still alive. <laughs> Damn, this guy's old. Paul not that old, old. Yep, Paul Dobson. Um, he's still alive. Yeah, you could easily bought back Paul Dobson. Like, come on. It's not that hard. You could have just asked him. It's like, hey, Paul Dobson, we want you to come back and do Naraku. It's like, hmm, sure. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. He could have easily came back to do Naraku. It would have made this show a lot cooler. Like, uh... But now that the show's over and there's not much to go off, there's no villains to come back. Like, all of them are dead, all on the other side, unless Kinoamu somehow came back because Ren's alive. Zen or Ren. Ween. Veen is alive. Kareen. Oh, Kareen is alive. Because Kareen's somehow alive, so how is he alive? That does bring up some questions. Because if he's alive, doesn't that mean Kim and Wonder Woman was alive somehow? Or did he just come back from the dead somehow and just... It's not really explained how he's still alive, so is Kim and Wonder Woman still alive? What actually happened at the end? Because that makes no sense, because Kim and Wonder Kareen was born from Kim and Wonder Woman, so how in the hell is he alive? It's never, it's it's not explained very really well how he came back. I guess just to drive the plot forward. I, I don't know. 
Unless this isn't real Kimin, I guess. I don't know how he's alive. Maybe he just came back. I don't know. They never explain it. And they don't explain it. Like, we don't hear that conversation that Queen had with... Um, we don't know what happened with Queen and Moha. So they probably left that for a second, a third season. Which I... Oh, I have hopes for. I so have hopes for third season. To be honest, I still have hopes for third season. Even though we're probably never gonna get one, we are never getting into a season of the show. So this is probably the final season, which is pretty sad because the show did have promise. Like, yeah, it was bad, but. It's not one of the worst animes I've ever seen. Like, I think that honor goes to. <coughs> but yeah, but it's not one of the worst animes I've ever seen. But yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, Gun Log. I think the worst animes I've ever seen was like Gun Logan and Elfin Lead. Those are probably the worst two I've ever seen. Yeah. And I'll. Mostly because Alpha Me is overrated and Gilman is just inferable and Evangelion is also pretty bad. But yeah, this one is bad, but it's not one of the worst I've ever seen. To be honest, I'm still a fan of Inyasha. I just think that Inyasha ended perfectly with the final act. It ended perfectly with the final act. Like, yeah, there was some problems with the final act. Don't get me wrong. There were some issues with the final act, but I still liked it. I still liked the final act. It has some issues. It did. It did have some issues, but the final act was so good, and it ended the series perfectly. However, they ruined Inyasha with Yashihime. They made the. Sh <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yashihime is just bad. Let's just make it non-canon. It never happened. Like, I'm sorry. It's it's just non-canon in my eyes. It just doesn't exist. And yeah, I know they say it's canon, but it's not canon in my eyes. I I don't like it. Like, uh, it has a lot of infuriating moments. A lot of infuriating scenes that I do not like. Like, the second season is just all over the place. All over the place. And it is pretty bad. Yeah, I do not... I'm not a big fan of this show. It's just bad. Just terrible. Just bad. Will I watch this show again? Heavens no. I'd rather watch Inyasha and the final act again. Maybe not now because those shows are long as hell. But I'd rather watch Inuyasha and the final act more than this show. Like, I grew up on Inuyasha. I grew up on Inuyasha. I watched it on Toonami when it first came out. Yeah, I watched. Yeah, remember when Inuyasha used to premiere to Mommy right before they canceled it? Like, I think they aired, like, the last couple episodes. I think they stopped that, like, they aired... I think they managed to air in Yasha before Tsunami was canceled and took it off the air. But, yeah. Even though Tsunami is only here in the United States now, so, eh. But Tsunami is perfect and is good. I love Toonami. It's really good. Yeah. Wait. I love I love the shows that they put on Toonami back then. Because I remember I used to stay up late all night just watching Toonami. <laughs> just to see what episodes they put. What new animes they would be in. Like, I remember I saw Attack on Titan once. I saw Ghost in the Show. Like, in 2008, I would stay up late last night. I would stay up late just to watch some new shows. Like, I would watch, um, I legit watch, like, I think they even premiered Ben 10. They premiered 
Clone Wars, you know, that was a Cartoon Network show, so it technically doesn't count. Nip me a, tons of new anime on there. Like, I remember I used to watch Ghost in the Shell a lot on Toonami. Like, I mean, a fucking lot. And I also used to watch Fukui on Toonami. Yeah, I watched Fukui. And I actually dig it. I dig Fukui. It's the first season. Well, first three seasons. I don't mind Pokemon 7 on Toonami. But, yeah. I actually like Fukui. But any shot of final <sighs> Yashihimi season two just doesn't work for me. It just feels it feels bad. It's just bad. I don't like it. It's just terrible. I there's not really much to say. It's just bad like the show the characters are not well developed the yeah i don't like it the characters are not well developed the ending is good there are some good episodes but there's very few in between there are very few in between and yeah it's just terrible like like i think like there's only like out of the entire season only the first six episodes are good a cup, like, like, actually, most of the episodes, there's some good stuff, then there's some bad stuff. Like, there's half the episode that's good, and then half the episode that's bad. How do you do that? You make an episode that's good and bad at the same time. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> like, it gets you intrigued, then... Loses your interest. It's like it gets you interested. Okay, okay, you're doing something good, and then you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I do not like the show. It's just bad. Like the only actual legitimate good episodes, besides when Inuyasha, besides the episodes of Inuyasha and K- and the episodes when Inuyasha and Kagome come back. The only legitimate good episodes that there are are um oh and I'm sorry oh and uh, legit the end like those final two episodes are actually pretty good to be honest it just feels feels like the writers just came in and was like eh you know what these are the last episodes let's just make these let's just make the audience ha- be happy for once. Just give them some good episodes. We can have just like at least one bad moment, a couple bad moments here and there. But just, just please make these good episodes good, okay? But yeah, I'm sorry. This is just this season just terrible. It is the absolute. Pico of the low. It is the pinnacle of the loo. It is bad. It is bad. I do. I don't like it. I. No. But with that said, this is how we sign off. And remember, stay big. Yashihimi fans, if there are actually any out there, I don't think there are, but there might be. (laughs) Is there fans of Yashihimi? Uh, Actually, people who actually like this show. Besides, I know Mohan. No, seriously, are there people who actually like this show? Like, 
I don't know. <laughs> あれあれあれ